Hi guys, what's up? So uh, today's video is on the concept of Kaizen costing. It is uh, from your subject in group 2 that is strategic cost management and performance evaluation. So um, it is a very famous concept. It is also practically applied uh, in uh, the industry, in the manufacturing industry. And it is also an important question which can be asked in your examinations. Since it is a recently introduced concept, uh, like I, I believe uh, it has been introduced in the syllabus uh, two years back. So it is also important from the examination perspective. So I'll give you an overview of what Kaizen costing is and also tell you about the need of Kaizen costing, what is the process of Kaizen costing, the savings, multiple versions of products which emerge when we apply Kaizen costing in the industry and the principles of Kaizen costing. And lastly, uh, after I explain all these in the video, then I will also uh, tell you or make you uh, understand an illustration uh, from a revision test paper related to Kaizen costing, which might be asked in the examination. Okay, guys, so let's begin with the video. So what is Kaizen costing? This is the first question that would be coming to your mind. So it is basically a particular program which is applied in the industry, in the organization, which is applied on a continuous basis in the organization for waste reduction. When I say waste reduction, so what is waste? Waste is something that is not adding any value to the process. That is waste for you. So waste reduction, which will ultimately lead to cost reduction. So it is basically a continuous improvement program which is applied in the production process in order to reduce costs. Okay, so it is a participative approach. It is not a single person giving instructions that we can reduce the cost from here or we can reduce the cost from here, but it is a participative approach. So all the workers that are working in the production floor or in the organization, in the production area, the assembly area, the distribution area, all of them participate and give their inputs on how we can reduce costs and apply Kaizen costing continuously while the manufacturing process is going on. So this is basically what Kaizen costing is. Now Kaizen is a Japanese term which is cost reduction steps uh, which can be applied so that ultimately we can reduce the cost of the product that we are manufacturing. Okay, so this was the meaning. Now coming to the need. Why do we actually require Kaizen costing? See, so uh, when the product is at the design phase, so we apply some cost reduction methods at the time of implementation. But later on also, there are many cost reductions or cost savings which are probable or which, which can happen in future. So those unplanned cost reductions are basically something which Kaizen costing comes up with. Since Kaizen costing is applied after the design phase, so it is continuously applied after the product has already been introduced and the manufacturing is going on. So it, for example, if a worker is working on a particular production process, he will give his feedback that I am working on this particular production process and I feel that this particular work step in the production process is not adding any value to the particular product that is coming out. So if it is not adding any value, but still I have to incur cost to do that production process, then why not just reduce that particular uh, work step from the production process and reduce our cost since the quality of the product will remain the same even if I reduce that particular work step. So this is how Kaizen costing is applied and why it is actually needed in an organization basically to reduce the cost and after the design phase it is implemented on a continuous basis 
by taking workers feedbacks and all the workers participate together and give their ideas how cost can be reduced okay now coming to the third thing the process of kaizen costing so the process is of course the activities involved in kaizen costing is that we need to achieve waste reduction and to achieve waste reduction of course it is directly linked to cost reduction so cost is also reduced when waste is reduced so i'll tell you a practical experience that i have been through so uh, there's an organization it is an automobile manufacturer so i actually practically saw that they had implemented kaizen costing so they used to prepare monthly kaizen costing summary sheet in which the name of all the workers used to come okay the all the workers working on the production floor the distribution uh, process or the assembly area had been given a target of giving at least one particular improvement on the process that they are working on and this was a monthly target given to them so imagine if there are 100 workers working in an organization and 100 workers are every month giving 100 at least 100 improvement uh, programs so imagine that would be so beneficial in reducing the cost of the product that is coming out so this is how the process is that every worker should participate and give their inputs that how we can actually reduce the waste in the production process which will ultimately lead to reduction in cost okay so uh, this was for the process now coming to the savings in kaizen costing so the savings in kaizen costing are not very huge see because uh, now there's a concept uh, called value engineering now value engineering is analyzing the value of the product during the design phase it is basically done for a new product so uh, looking at the specifications of the product and suggesting cost reduction Uh, areas and cost reductions for the uh, particular product so it is not as big as value engineering it might not give you such big savings uh, as cost as a uh, value engineering does but yes it operates on a continuous basis and it gives you uh, a lot of minor savings and coming directly from the work, per person who is working on the floor who is actually working on it and he is giving inputs to you about that so collectively it becomes a uh, you know a, a good uh, amount of savings for the company and of course since after you have introduced the product later on the market price of the product has to be decreased due to competitive pressures coming uh, from the outside industry as well so to meet those competitive uh, pressures and to fight with those competitive pressures of course you need to you know keep working on the cost of the product so that you can reduce the cost of the product and you can reduce and minimize the uh, activities which are not adding any value to the pr uh, particular production process so it is very beneficial in kaizen costing okay so next is uh, multiple versions so see uh, i am continuously applying kaizen costing to the product so there are multiple versions of products that are created so first uh, it is the product which was at the time of the design phase then i am continuously applying kaizen costing then the product has now uh, you know become a better version of itself at a reduced cost then i am further again trying to reduce cost of that product so there are multiple versions of products that are created but ultimately these savings keep moving and they come to a stop first uh, initial initial stages i am uh, you know saving 100 rupees from kaizen costing then i'll be saving 80 rupees then i'm saving 50 rupees then i'm saving 30 rupees then i'm saving 10 rupees so ultimately it will stop and at the same time the market price of my product is also gradually reducing so when the returns uh, which i am getting from kaizen costing 
equals to the market the decreasing market price then that is the point where i actually have to switch my product now i have to stop that product and switch to a new product in which i will incur lesser initial costs and come up with a new product for the market so there are various versions of products that are created and i need to put a stop and then come up with a new product and again start applying kaizen costing to the new product so it is a continuous process it is never ending it will never end even if you switch the product okay okay guys so uh, this was till multiple versions now coming to the principles of kaizen costing so principles of kaizen costing are these first is it seeks to achieve gradual improvements slow and steady improvements in the existing situation matlab ki for the existing product at an acceptable cost ek cost jo ki acceptable mani jati hai us pe then second is it involves setting standards and improving them to achieve long term sustainable improvements humne standards set kare hain har worker ke liye ki usko ek improvement batani hai theek hai then that becomes a long term sustainable improvement for us third is it recognizes that improvements are endless which means ki ye continuous basis pe chalta chala jata hai that is why it is a continuous improvement program fourth is it encourages collective decision making and application of knowledge this is because ye ek participative approach hai sab log collectively isme decision making karte hain and then use implement kiya jata hai fifth is it covers all areas of business it is not only restricted to shop floor which means it is not only for production it can be applied anywhere it, it can be applied into sales and marketing as well it can be applied into assembly department as well डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रोसेसेस में हर जगह इसको अप्लाई किया जाता है नॉट ओनली द प्रोडक्शन फ्लोर देन लास्ट इज इट फोकसेज ऑन एलिमिनेटिंग वेस्ट इम्प्रूविंग सिस्टम्स एंड इम्प्रूविंग प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफकोर्स विच इज विच इज़ द मोस्ट जेनरिक वन वेस्ट रिडक्शन जो हमारा काइजिन कॉस्टिंग का पर्पज़ होता है सो इट एलिमिनेट्स वेस्ट इट इम्प्रूव द सिस्टम एंड इट इम्प्रूव द प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ द वर्कर एंड द प्रोसेस एज वेल सो दिस वॉज फॉर काइजिन कॉस्टिंग प्रिंसिपल्स गाइज so the illustration is abc limited is planning to introduce kaizen costing approach in its manufacturing plant state whether and why the following are valid or invalid in respect of kaizen costing first is vp finance is of the view that the company has to make a huge initial investment to bring a large scale modification in production process so of course this is not true this is invalid in this case because kaizen costing ke liye koi bhi huge initial investment karne ki koi zarurat nahi hoti hai okay then the second is head personnel has made a point that introduction of kaizen costing does not eliminate the training requirement of employees this is totally valid now training is something which is ongoing so kaizen costing doesn't in any way affect the training of the employees it is an ongoing process it is a long term process and it will go on then third is general manager firmly believes that only shop floor employees and workers involvement is prerequisite prerequisite of kaizen costing approach so this is invalid because all the people from the top management to the exactly uh, you know the associates the worker level people all have to be involved into kaizen costing then last is manager operations has concerns about creation of confusion among employees and workers regarding their roles and degradation in quality of production so this is invalid because kaizen costing never ever says that there should be loss of quality it tries to reduce the cost and at the same time it does not compromise with the quality at all so this was the illustration from the rtp guys so guys that was all for this video hope you like the video just let me know what other concepts you want me to make videos on in this particular subject scmp and i will definitely try to come up with those videos also if you have any problems guys you can mail me on my mail id given below Uh, so it is believe in yourself never give up at the rate gmail dot com. I would request you all please uh, not to mail me on the previous mail ID that I had earlier mentioned in my videos. Please mail me on the mail ID which I am mentioning below in the description box. Okay, guys, thank you so much and all the very best.